Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Figured I would talk about flow, some tricks on flow. I'm by no means a master of flow, far from it. But I've got a few things about flying in general that just kind of helps your flying flow better and keeps you in a flow state better, I think. And it just has to do a lot of with just some simple things in your flying that I think can improve it. Now, I don't always do these things. And then when I'm flying, I realize that I'm like, ah, you kind of, you kind of break your, your momentum, your, your state of flow when you kind of get out of those things. But if you can remember them and if you can kind of do those things on a regular basis, then uh, it can definitely improve your flying, I think. So definitely it's improved mine. And again, I'm no expert and I'm far from very good. I know some people, they like to think that I am. I'm really not. Really, really, really not. And I'm, and I'm not just saying that, to, you know, I'm not, not trying to be faux humble, you know. Um, that's just who I am. You know, when I'm doing well, I'll tell you I'm doing well. And when I'm not, I'll tell you I'm not. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not a braggart and I'm not a humble person by any stretch. But I know my limits and I know when I'm not the best at something, which is like everything. So anyways, with that, let's go ahead and fly a little bit here. And uh, I'm going to talk about a few things and just kind of demonstrate a few of those or try to demonstrate a few of those with just some simple stuff here um, at the park. I think it might be an interesting, interesting video. So if you'd like to find out, stick around. Flow means a lot of things to a lot of different people. Um, in general, I think most people think of flow as just like this continuous fluid movement and fluid uh, fluid flying, kind of like this, but not you know necessarily maybe better than this. But anyways, this type of flying where things are kind of slow, very um, intentional, not erratic. That kind of thing. I think that's what a lot of people think of flow, but honestly, flow can be done with any flying style. You know, um, still, for instance, he doesn't always, his flying isn't always flowy, but he has moments where it definitely is. And he'll have packs a lot of times. He'll, he'll pose like a single pack sometimes, and it's very flowy, but it's like super erratic. But like if he's just goofing off and hanging out with his buddies and flying around there just doing stuff, you know, then um, won't necessarily be flowy. So anyways, I kind of want to get that out of the way first. It's like you can do flow with a variety of, of styles of flying. You don't have to be slow. It don't have to be this, you know, some might say boring style or you don't have to have these big open areas with like gaps and like you're going through all the time. I know like Drib and Bubby, they think of flow generally probably. Their style is very flowy, but it's not the only style that can be flowy. Um, so with that, that's a little, little flow like flying there, but not really flow style or maybe it's more like a flow style. This kind of, you know, this isn't, by no means very good flow style um, by any stretch. Anyways, so some tips on keeping your flow. The thing I notice most with people with their flying, that kind of breaks, like they'll be in a flow that'll break their flow is when they do a trick like through a gap or something and then there's nothing to go to. Like you're coming down through here and you're like, you go through that, and you're like, oh, now I have nothing, right? What you need to do instead of doing that, a simple way is to come right back into it. So like this here. See, I did a real, real nice, tight yaw banked turn there. With a lot of yaw, a lot of roll to bank back into it. So like you're coming through, and you roll and you yaw right back 
And you yaw and heavy roll right back, and you're right back into the object you just came through. Um, that kind of thing really helps. The split S is your, who I better land. Let me land here, small battery before I kill a battery. And uh, we'll, we'll start with the split S there. The next thing I want to talk about. Split S can be a big help in getting your flow to continue on so that you don't um, get out of it. Now, one thing that I'll see people do a lot of times, they'll be flying along here, you know, and they do something and like they'll go, let's see here, like maybe go through a gap and then like they're going out and then they'll, they'll do that and they'll turn around, right? Don't do that. Instead, it's better to turn around and just go, just kind of use a split S to change your direction. That's another one. Now, it's not always the best. Like in an open area, it's a little boring, but it's better than just flat out turning. Ha, <laughs> ballooned there a little bit. Right? Oh, oh, man. Okay, so yeah, so split S can definitely help you change your direction around. Like, you know, you're going towards something. You split S and then come back through, of course. That's always a, a cool trick to kind of keep flowing. But if you don't even have something, you know, that's kind of a split S, but with a bit of a twist to it. So like I was going to here, I want you to you split S and you kind of add yaw. Now you change direction like at 90. Like there's a normal type, like normal roll, right? And you're going the same direction, right? And then a normal split S and you're going back the opposite direction, right? But then you can split S and yaw. Now I'm going this way. And you can keep a flow going in a different direction and kind of keep tight to an object. So there's another one too. So you can, this would be probably like a, um, like a reverse split S is like, at least one way I look at a reverse split. There's a couple different variations of what people call reverse splits. But in my case here, I'm gonna call this half power loop into a roll, a reverse split S, right? Cause it's the opposite. Right? Instead of rolling and pulling out, you are pulling out and then rolling. Right? So that's another another way you can change direction to kind of keep your flow going. I know all these are like simple tricks, but really that's a big thing that I've seen with most people with maintaining flow is just keeping their momentum going because they get they do something and then they don't have a way out of it. The biggest thing to really help help you with stuff, see like that's kind of boring, right? Going through that or there. So now watch this, we come through this here and we come through it. And now I switch direction by like yawing. Like so instead of going through this here and going this way, right? Instead of doing that, when I go through there and then and yaw into it, like I didn't go the, I didn't end up going in the right direction. Hang on. And my battery's getting low. I better do this quick. So you come in here and you kind of reverse, you know, reverse a little bit there and yaw and you change direction. A big part of flow, I think, is with your direction changes and how you handle those. Because, I mean, you can do those with any style. You can, you can change your direction in any style and, you know, any mechanism to your style. It don't have to be slow. You don't have to have low rates to do flow. You can do it with a ah, terrible Stacy. You can do it with a wide variety of stuff. You see that there was like changing directions with like a 90 degree turn using a split S with see that? You add yaw into it and a normal split S becomes oh a crash. <laughs> so yeah, your normal split S can go into a crash or it can change your direction. I do I do yaw in my split S's a lot. And you can do that there to kind of start the split S and then kind of roll and bring it into something else. And then now the other, the last little thing I want to talk about here 
just how to keep it interesting if you got just a simple object and you don't have a lot to work with but you want to keep flowing right so a big part of that is just keeping this object sorry that um, in your view all the time which I didn't do there right so like I'm inside this thing here and you want to kind of make it interesting so I want to and then I'm using that that yaw to change direction and then you can use that yaw to kind of reverse your direction right yaw is your friend with flow I know that some people don't like yaw Bubby's said he's not a big yaw person and he flows right but I think you need yaw and a lot of it it don't have to be fast like I don't have a very fast yaw I'm running a really low yaw rate when it comes to that but it can definitely be your friend um And then that's the other thing that you can kind of do is you can kind of do that weird little move there I do sometimes. Like you'll kind of roll and then pitch back and then back into it. You know, like I'm coming through here and I roll. And you pitch back and then back the other direction. That's the same with the other. Like this is, that is pitching in two directions, right? Is all that really is. And that's crashing. With that, I will leave you guys. Hopefully you gained a few tidbits, pointers, whatnot on flow. And you can flow with any style. Twitchy, the slow, to whatever. The trick with the biggest trick I think with flow is finding good ways to change direction and keep your momentum going. That is the biggest trick. Learn how to change direction and keep momentum. And those things I showed you just a few ways. There's a lot of other ways that you can do it. Um, there's some like back flips back into stuff into you know back flip into like half back flip into a roll back into something to change direction all kinds of fun stuff you can do um, with changing direction experiment with changing direction changing direction is key to keeping a nice flow keeping your momentum going no matter what your style is you know that is that is key to it with that, I will leave you guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.